Hi, Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. 400 videos to watch. Are you riding on the road this winter? Road Soul, does your bike look like this? This was just a few days riding in our lovely British roads. Just about seeing my registration plate. <laughs> Yes. It's not good, is it? And this was only after a few days. Remember to uh, keep wiping it every day. Now, as I said, that was just after a few days. In here in the UK, they put road salt on the roads to stop them being so slippy. It was minus seven the other morning I rode to work. Now, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I won't ride when it's black ice and I'm not riding in the snow. But when it's cold and the roads are reasonably clear, I will still ride. Now, they used to use a better quality road salt. Here of 10 years in the UK now of austerity, and I'm getting sick and tired of Brexit, to be honest with you. You make you think, why are these bunch of muppets up in London give you all this like children with under £1,000 a year? Don't get me started. Anyway, they've now gone to even cheaper, more corrosive, road salt it's a black salt really does damage any parts like a motorbike like on them ones there i've got all the plastic fairings and it gets on your forks engine and it just rusts everything now top tip two buckets why two buckets and why top tip well, i can't have two buckets the road salt that gets on your bike is activated when you put warm water on it so you're actually causing more damage so when you first wash your bike Rinse it off with cold water. Rinse the two buckets. That's just cold, ordinary water. Now, okay, it is like one degree out there and it's a bit cold. Um, but yeah, wash off as much as you can of the road salt off your bike with cold water before giving it the love and care of a bit of warm water and your products that you may use. I've still got a muck off stuff here, which I do use, I spray it all over it. There's a video of me detailing a couple of bikes on my channel. Otherwise, wash up the lid. Still good, still got silicon in it. But after you wash your bike, this is the nuts, ACF 50, your little squirty one. After you've washed the bike, spray it out on all the parts, not your discs obviously or your tyres, but any metal parts you can with a clean rag. Here's what I made earlier. Spray it over, wipe it all on it and leave it. This will protect your vital parts of your bikes from the road salt and the corrosion over the winter. So, handy tips. Yes, it's really, really cold, but it really does help just getting all of the road salt off of the parts, especially the front forks, calipers and your wheels, because it really does badly get in and start rusting all of these. Now, I've done a video before, that's really thick, isn't it? I've done a video before about using Harpic times 10 and that is good stuff on your exhausts and your wheels on the alloys so that will really clean them up. So I'm going to wash this and show you afterwards when I put on the old C, oh, when I put on the ACF 50. Really good stuff. It is expensive, well worth it though. It's that bad the cartridge coming out. Top tip, make sure you put it on the lowest setting. Try not to jet wash too deep into the bike itself. For the electrics. Anyway, gonna have to culture it. Whatever's happened to this, it's uh, blown up and not working. So I am back to hand washing again. Next, rags, microcloths, whatever you're gonna use, dry your bike off everywhere you can. Now, my culture, it's a year old old, and it's dead. So that wasn't good, was it? I was back to hand. <laughs> Thought I might make it easier on myself. However, it is clean now. Da da. Well, as clean as I can get it in this weather. So now I'm just going to let the bike dry and then I'm going to stick ACF 50 everywhere I can and rub it in. That's the engine, then parts, all the forks. It is still dripping a little bit. I don't know if you can see it's bloody snowing outside. So this bike is going to get absolutely filthy probably by Tuesday morning. And if you look, I didn't really do a brilliant job, even though I rubbed everywhere. It's what it gets when it gets really ground in. 
Make sure though, when you're using this stuff, you don't get it on the discs. Wipe them off or use some disc cleaner. Get the wheels done, but I say I've used that old Harpic times 10 to get the real ground in stuff, but it's worth wiping over. And then the rest of the bike. Yeah, anything that you wanna spray it on, spray it and rub it in. Sort of leave a sticky residue, um, and it will probably pick up the dirt very easily. But you should know underneath, the main bits you're trying to protect are protected. I was told about this by another YouTuber, so it is good stuff. Don't forget to use a spray on your chain. I mean, this is just chain wax, which I quite like, because um, some of the other oily ones, you put too much on, it gets on the back tire, and then before you know it, slip, especially in this sort of weather. So let's not get carried away with that. If you do use a good oil-based one, use a rag afterwards and wipe the excess off. Remember to keep an eye on your back tire. Now, I haven't changed these tires. I bought some new ones. So here they are, a nice set of Pirellis, Diablo Strada ones. I picked them overall because I like the tread pattern and actually they're really good value. And these warm up quite quickly, so I went for them. But I've still got quite a bit of tread on the back and front, well, not so much. So I'm getting a little bit worried now. So that's my next job and if you watch my tyre video, I ain't doing it myself. Wheels off, up the garage, let him take the pain. <laughs> Just so much easier for him to do it. Right, there we go. A rubbishy wash, cartridge blew up, didn't do a brilliant job of it, but I'm just protecting the bike because it's going to get crap next week. It's not a detailing wash like I've done before. It's just a quick rub over, get the main road so off. As I said, top tip, use cold water to get as much of that crap off as you can before washing the bike. Cause a lot less damage. Right, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves on these horrible roads over the winter. Another month or so, I think it'd be nice. This is what you just can't gauge in Britain. Look at that, sun's out and it's, well, not really snowing, is it? But a little bit of sleet in the air. Whether that gets worse or not, who knows? Said, take care of yourselves on the UK roads. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.